What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is about what I like to call Jerry Garcia's secret ingredient in his guitars, and that is the oboe. So before we dive into the playing part of today's video and the more detailed explanation, what the onboard effects loop basically is, in the easiest terms, is that it gives Garcia the ability to route all his effects into his guitar volume knob, right? So that no matter where the guitar volume knob is, the full effect is still present, right? So if he wants to add overdrive to his already loud signal, he can, but he can also bring the guitar master volume all the way down to like two or three if he wants and still get the full distortion sound, but quieter, right? So it gave Garcia a ton of versatility to have the effect on full volume or his overall volume be quieter, but still have the full effect. So like a majority of you probably already have Garcia type guitars. Um, for those who don't, what you need besides writing your guitar for the effects loop is you need a junction box. And today we're using the hubbub from Godfrey Daniels. And this is the brains of the onboard effects loop, right? This is where you route the guitar with two cables, one mono and one stereo TRS cable into the junction box and bada bing, bada boom, you're in the Grateful Dead. So with all that being said, let's check out the more in-depth explanation and the playing. Cool. So onboard effects loop almost like Garcia's secret ingredient in his guitars. By the late 70s, he had on most of the guitars at that point. And its main function is to bring consistency to the way effects sound and behave regardless of where the guitar's master volume setting is and to eliminate tone loss from long cable runs. Also to help eliminate that tone loss, you can say essentially was the... Uh, CAE sound buffer, the unity gain buffer in his guitars. So essentially, in layman's terms, is that it routes all your effects through your guitar, so regardless of where your master volume is, you still get the full effect of the sound, right? To do so, you need two inputs. One, which is a regular guitar output, and then one that is output with a stereo TRS cable, and that goes into the obel, which is the hubbub junction box, like you saw in the beginning, which routes out into your effects, out of your effects, back into the hubbub, back into this input right here, and through your guitar's electronics, right? So again, regardless of where your master volume is, you still have the full effect, whether it's distortion, Qtron, phaser, whatever. Right? So let's check out some tones right now. I'll be on the middle pickup full. <laughs> right? Turn on the onboard effects loop with no effects on, right? Same tone. Now let's engage some overdrive in the Tube Screamer, which is a really, really cool sound, almost like a clean tone and then a layer of distortion. Really, really cool. Check this out. full-on overdrive, where the onboard effects loop benefits are is that you lower the master volume and you still have that full overdrive signal. Right? 
just an overall quieter sound. Lower it even more. Right? Bring it all the way back up. No matter where your guitar volume is, the full effect is still there, right? So now let's check it out with the Qtron. Here is the clean tone. Right? Let's bring in now the Qtron. Right. There's a really cool video of Eric Krasno discovering the onboard effects loop because essentially, right, you can have your clean tone right here. Turn the effects loop on and you have already your Qtron. So in that video, Krasno turns it on and he's like, whoa. There's that sound. And again, lower the guitar's volume and you still have the full effect. more, again, full effect. It's almost like your own mastering when you're playing live with the band. If you need to be quiet, but still have the full effect, onboard effects loop does the job, right? <laughs> Lower the volume. Amazing. And so now you're feeling frisky. You can put on the Qtron with the overdrive. Lower the volume. 
Flick it off. Clean tone. Flick it on. That's the power of the onboard effects loop. Retain the effect signal no matter where the master volume is. Garcia was a genius. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video about the onboard effects loop, a really, really cool innovation in the Grateful Dead world that gave Garcia the ability to have a super loud volume or a super quiet volume and still have the effects at full. Right, really, really cool. He was a genius. We all love him. <laughs> He's incredible. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.